Yahoo's second quarter earnings came out today just a day after announcing that former Google VP Marissa Meyer is the company's new CEO. She started today. Hi there, I'm Lauren Retzer for the Wall Street Journal in San Francisco and I'm joined by John Letzing who has all the details on Yahoo's earnings. So John, what did we see in today's earnings report? Well, it was sort of a perfectly decent, ho-hum and forgettable earnings report given all the other things going on with the new CEO. Um, the core business, display advertising, sort of inched along relatively flat. Search advertising up slightly, I suppose. Um, the big issue, I guess, was uh, restructuring costs, which uh, ate into the profit. All right, and so speaking of the new CEO, was Marissa on the call today? She was not on the call today, and uh, neither was her predecessor, interim CEO, Ross Levinson, uh, who's been leading the company since May. Uh, it's a little unclear yet what role Ross Levinson has or is going to have at Yahoo, if any. Um, the call was actually led by the chief financial officer, Tim Morse, who really didn't have much to say about what uh, Ms. Meyer's plans are for Yahoo. Um, it, it sounded as though he really didn't have a chance to discuss with her things like financial performance goals, and the company also did not issue uh, an outlook for the, for the current quarter. Interesting. All right. So as Marissa takes over the reins as CEO at Yahoo, what are some of the main challenges facing her and Yahoo uh, as, they, as they move forward? Uh, well, they're seeing a lot of competition in their core business from Google, uh, her former employer, and from Facebook as well. Um, and they're also sort of steadily losing their share of the internet search market. They have a partnership with Microsoft in place, which is supposed to bring in more money from search users through search advertising. They said today, though, that that really has not happened yet. Uh, they have a certain period of time to see if that works out or not, and then they can opt out ultimately. Um, as I mentioned, they also had restructuring charges. That was related to a big round of layoffs they announced in April. Sure. All right, well, thanks very much, John. I've been talking with John Letzing, and in San Francisco, I'm Lauren Rutzer.